which of the following facial structure encases the apex of the lung? Welder's fascia, pretracheal fascia, clavipectoral fascia, Simpson's fascia. Simpson's fascia overlies the apex of the both lung. This is also called suprapleural membrane or suprapleural fascia. The suprapleural fascia runs from the cervical seven to the first rib and overlies the apex of the lung on both sides. It lies between the parietal pleura and the thoracic cage. Now let's talk about a little bit regarding the anatomy. The right lung is composed of three lobes divided by oblique and transverse fissure. The left lung has two lobes divided by the oblique fissure. The apex of the both lung is approximately 4 cm superior to the sternocostal joint of the first rib. Immediately below this is a sulcus created by subclavian artery. Peripheral contact point of the lung. In the base, there is diaphragm and the coastal surface corresponds to the cavity of the chest. The mediastinal surface contacts with the mediastinal pleura, has the cardiac impression. Above and behind the concavity is a triangular depression named the hilum, where the structures which form the root of the lung enter and leave the viscous. These structures are invested by the pleura, which below the hilum and behind the pretracheal impression forms the pulmonary ligament. Right lung. Above the hilum is the ejigous vein. Superior to this is the groove for superior vena cava and the right innominate vein. Behind this and nearer the apex, there is a furrow for the innominate artery. Behind the hilum and the attachment of the pulmonary ligament is a vertical groove for the esophagus. In front and to the right of the lower part of the esophageal groove is a deep concavity for the extrapericardiac portion of the inferior vena cava. The root of the right lung lies behind the superior vena cava and the right atrium and below the gyagos vein. The right main bronchus is shorter, wider and more vertical than the left main bronchus and therefore the route taken by most of the foreign bodies. In the left lung, above the hilum, there is a furrow produced by the aortic arch and then superiorly the groove accommodating the left subclavian artery. Behind the hilum and the pulmonary ligament is a vertical groove produced by the descending aorta and in front of this, near the base of the lung, is the lower part of the esophagus. The root of the left lung passes under the aortic arch and in front of the descending aorta. Inferior border of the both lung occupies sixth rib in the mid-clavicular line. 8th rib in the mid-axillary line, 10th rib posteriorly. If the video was useful, please subscribe to our channel.